welcome to my channel it's Danelle so I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of some stuff that I ordered from Timu um, I'm gonna start by saying that I don't buy chemical goods from Timu I stick to things like you know nail tips I buy the cheapest ones I can find on whatever day so that I can use them to practice with. So these are just your, they're called soft gel nail tips. Uh, and they were like a dollar something. So good for just using for practice. So I got some of those. And I got... I actually got a bunch. So, let's see. I am guessing these are, let's see if it says what they are. 240 pieces, it says. And they're kind of coffin shaped. Not really, though. These are also called uh, so 550 count short coffin and even though they're just for tips I still tend to buy on the shorter side because I don't like doing big nails that's too I was wondering why it looks so odd so let's see it's a size zero I mean, that would be way too big, but I'm just showing you what, how long that would be on me. So these are for practice. This is a really nice box. Even when I'm done with it, that can be useful. And then, let's see what else I got. Oh. I guess I got two of those. These. Two of those. Same thing. Yeah, the, it might have been um, a lightning deal that they sometimes do. If you put something in your cart, then you get something else. This was under a dollar. It was a three-piece ombre brush set. And I realized the cheaper brushes, like sometimes your tools do matter, and this is one of those instances. Like, I love my my name brand ombre brushes when I'm doing my nails, but when I'm just experimenting, um, I kind of like to use the plastic ones so that they're not, I'm not using my other one. I don't know why, it's just the way I am. That's what I like to do. And I actually had ordered these before and they look really small, but they're very effective. I have some that are a little bit bigger as well, but there's some serious Ziploc on here. I can't, oh, no, no, I ripped it. So it came with a free, but it's just a cheap cotton grabber. It's a really flimsy feeling, but they're little nail sponges. So you can just pick it up like this put your polish on and do like some ombre effects or different things like that. I really like these. They're 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 cheap. They came in this big baggie of them. I don't know how many is in there. Uh but they don't um shed and have the holy fibers like a makeup sponge does. Like the makeup sponge has all the it's more spongy. This is more like a memory foam, kind of. So I, I really like this. And these are small, so, I mean, you might be able to cut it in half and reuse it. But I do have some just like this that are bigger, and those you can cut maybe in two thirds. But, yeah, I really like this. And again, it came with this really cheap grabber. And let's see what else I got. And I want to say I'm not knocking anybody that orders, like, polishes and things off of Timu. 
um, to each their own. I am terrified of getting any type of gel allergy or anything like that. So I'm probably overly cautious. Oh, all right. Sorry, I was trying to open it because it had I had no idea what it was. So I got one of these because somebody said that it's a glass jar. It's for cleaning your brushes, but it has that kind of seal on it. So if you put acetone in here, like when I use this one, even though it has like the little lid, the acetone still evaporates fairly quickly. So supposedly this one, you can put the acetone in it and it has that little bit of a seal so it doesn't evaporate. I'll try that out and see how it goes. Otherwise, it's still like a really cute little jar. Okay, so back to gel polishes. I personally am just really scared of getting any type of allergy, contact dermatitis, anything like that. So I have started limiting myself to what I put on my hands and so that's me. It's, I'm not saying that anybody else has to do that. It's just for me. Okay, so now that I got that out the way, because I don't want to offend anybody, I know some of you are like, oh, blah, 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 whatever. It's just my personal opinion. I'm not knocking anybody. I got this nail stamping plate. And I wanted to show this. Ah. Uh, because I actually don't have anything with this specific image. I have a couple of their plates. Jin Tian. Jin Tian. Already. Um, and they all work pretty good. But I got this one because I really like these bricks. I have a plate with some critters on it. And I really wanted to do like a grungy brick background. And I don't have any plates that do that. So when I seen this, it reminded me of that other design that I had wanted to do previously. And I was like, I got to have it. So I got the bricks. And then it just has some other like scribbles, some lines, and then some hatching. Some little squiggles, maybe some marble. More weave. This could be, again, marble or stone. You know, you can do with it. That, maybe if you're doing like two shades of brown, maybe that could look like wood. But, so I, I really like that. That's what I wanted was the, um, yeah. was the, uh, ah, can't get my words out. The brick. So now that I have that, hopefully I can remember what I wanted to do and get it done. So <laughs> this I ordered and forgot that I had already ordered one and then forgot that I ordered it so I never used it. So it is a plastic, or not plastic, but silicone like eyeshadow applicator. But I got this for like powders, like chrome powders or pigment powders to kind of like rub them in. And I just like the shape of it. I know some people just use the regular silicone tools. But I, I just like the way this looks, so I thought I would give it a try. And again, I ordered it, forgetting that I had already ordered one. And I'm looking around right now, and I don't even see the one I had previously ordered. So, hmm. got another one. Really cheap. Uh, it seemed like on... I, I don't know, there was just one day. I've been having some of this stuff in my cart for a really long time. And of course... It's Timo, so it's all really cheap anyway, usually, most stuff. Um, but everything went on, like, major sale. So, it, like, went from cheap to, like, super-duper cheap. So, I don't wear crystals or anything on my nails. Um, and I haven't really started experimenting too much with putting them on. But I did get some little pliers to help pop them off when I do. If I do, when I do, uh, it would be nice if they had a spring mechanism to keep them closed rather than like that, but you know, can't complain when they were in like a buck or so. Let's see what else is in here. Oh yeah. 
swatch sticks. Just your typical clear swatch sticks with a ring. I got, uh, it came two in a pack. I don't know if it says how many there are. Uh, you know, it's probably like 50 in each one, I'm guessing. So probably 100. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Oh, yeah. I knew I had ordered more chips. I decided, um... I don't use Timu often, but I decided to stock up on tips for my practice nails and stuff. So these are the same thing. They're just medium almond, 550 in a box. I, I really like these boxes. These are nice. It's a nice little storage box. So I always have weird thumbs, so I usually have to pick not the biggest, but usually the next size, and you see how it misses, and then I have to just file it down to match. For some reason, thumbnails, mine are like square, but then rounded. Anyway, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but those are a pretty nice length. Still longer than what I have. Um, let's see. I wanna see my one like on this finger like how much longer it would be than mine god this makes my nails look so short can you see that and I don't consider my nails short I mean these are builder gel and these are kind of tapered and then these are more almond kind of a pointy almond but god they make my nails look short <laughs> yeah so they're cute just tips so <laughs> more tips different I like this box too these are ultra short false nails 600 pieces 12 sizes clears numbers meaning they're numbered uh, looks like they're almond as well I thought I I got different shapes oh these look small like really small that's a zero. Yeah, let's see. Another size. This is a one. That's weird. The zero was way too big. The one is like way too small. That's all right. I'm mostly going to be doing these for practice and things like that that let's see that's a two yeah which should be way too big for anything else let's see what this is four they are really short though which is good because usually even extra short i mean they're still longer than what i have but not by much this would be a pretty ideal length for me if i were to wear them I'm looking straight on. <laughs> so, yeah. Just some cheap plastic tips. Mostly for practice. Like, I probably wouldn't wear any of these because they would be way too long on me. I would have to really file them and cut them down. These I might actually use, though. Oh, uh, and... I got some lint-free whites, and so I have these, and I mean, I've had these from 
I've gotten them from Timu and Amazon, but they they are lint free, but sometimes like um I like to use lint free wipes on my stamp on my blah, 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 nail stamping plates and these um pill and like leave residue. So I got these kind and these are more um of a linen type feel. Uh, not linen. I don't more woven, that's what I mean. Not linen, woven. So like that. And so they don't leave, they don't break apart as easily when you rub them over like the nail stamping plates when you're cleaning it. And the cotton and everything that leaves little fluffs and everything. So that's why I got that. And Oh yeah, more swatch sticks, just because you can never have enough swatch sticks. So there's more of those. And... Oh yeah, besides the silicone one, I also bought a super cheap pack of eyeshadow applicators for doing chrome and pigment powders. Oh yes, so I had got some, I had never ordered off of AliExpress until just recently I did one order and I got these tabs. I don't like using clay on my nail tips for two reasons. For some reason, it never stays sticky enough, that like tacky clay stuff. It's never sticky enough, it doesn't hold well for me and I don't like being able to see through it. For some reason, that bothers me. So these, they peel off clear. So they're just double-sided. And they peel off clear, just like a little double-sided sticky. And I love how they work on my nail tips. I'm trying to see if I have one with any on it. I might. Oh yeah, I do have some clear ones over here. So you'll be able to see. So when you're looking at your nail tip, you don't see the big hunk of clay. It's just clear. You just see the nail stand under it. So I'm not going to take it all the way off, but it's just like a double-sided sticky. And it's like a perfect size for the nail tips. I couldn't find the, ex I couldn't find the same shape on Timu. So I got this, these little round ones, which might be even better because, you know, the, well, I shouldn't say they might be better, but they're smaller. Oh, I'm killing them. I'm not gonna leave them in there for now, but they're the same thing, just little double-sided adhesive dots. I think there's like two sheets in here of those. And another one of those. Oh, and look, more swatch sticks. Jeez. Oh, and more dots. Everything got wet, which is really disappointing. I'm gonna have to message about this because they left my package ripped in the rain and then, so this this sheet is like ruined the water got in there and let's see what this is oh yeah so this is also ripped so i hope it's not ripped uh i live in southwest florida so summer girl Always summer, I'll live in tank tops when I'm not at work. And so I just ordered these little ribbed tank tops that have like a racer back, like spaghetti straps. They're just striped black and white. Again, cute. Hope they fit. Yeah, they don't, it doesn't really matter because they're just for wearing around the house. So. Right, let's see, um, to the bottom. I think I'm almost done. So, I decided to try, this is, I'm not going to be able to put this whole thing up there because now I have a mess, um, the, ugh. instead of using paper towels 
for like under my nail stamping. I do always take the paper towels and I tear them like in half or thirds to like use under my stamping plates. But again, paper towels leave a lot of fuzzies and stuff. So I thought about going with the, um, I don't even know they're like, like, cat, like these paper things, almost like a dental bib. Sometimes they're advertised for like tattoo stations or nail stations, but I thought maybe it could go, I can cut them into small sections and like use them. Uh, some of them have more of that like plastic backing, which I liked because then stuff wouldn't go through it. And I thought that's what I got, but that's not what I got. So I'm gonna have to see how that works with like liquid going through it. Because I don't want the paint to go through it. I thought maybe if the, it was the other ones, they would um, not see through. Okay, I have one more thing. And what is this? Okay, so these are called, and I've seen them used before. I've never used them myself. So they're, they were super cheap. Again, a lightning deal that was like offered, you know, trying to get you to buy stuff. They were dumb cheap. So 24 mixed laser cut out stickers. So they're supposed to be reusable and they're, they're basically nail stencils. So you stick them to your nail and then you dab, oops, sorry, I hit the camera. And then you can dab your polish over it or paint it over, however, I don't know exactly. But I thought I would give those a try. And they have a bunch of different designs, like the ones I just showed. Those are really cute. And then on here, you can see stars, hearts, and butterflies. And let's see if I can open these and see what else they have. Kind of, oh, this, I, I would, <laughs> I'm a quilter, so that, that looks like quilting scroll work to me. Like, yeah, that's cute. And I got these little designs. So I thought they were advertised as reusable. Oh, look at the fish. Those are super cute. I They don't feel reusable, though. I could be wrong. Yeah, a whole bunch of designs. It's so funny that it reminds me of quilting. Oh, look at the roses. Um... Yeah, that's definitely not going to be reusable. It's like a... Ah, now I can't get it back off. It is just like a sticker, like a holographic sticker. And you can see how thin and flimsy that is. So I can't imagine that would be reusable. But you just put it on your nail however you want it. and then fill it in. And these can be used also for like creating negative space. I don't really do stars, so I just stuck it back on like that. But again, I can't really see these being reusable, but I also don't see myself using stuff like that a lot anyway. It was just impulse buy because I seen it. <laughs> I think they, they're cute, so. Similar to stamping, just a little different. So that is my Timu haul for today. Thanks for watching. I have um, a couple more orders coming soon, much smaller. Some of them, it's not all nail stuff. I do have a new desk coming soon because I want to try to sell what I have and change things up a bit just to consolidate and make it easier to work hopefully with more space for filming and everything so um if you like these kind of videos 
hit the like button, share with your fam, um, share with your family, share with your friends or family if they're into nail stuff. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Ask me any questions. Leave me suggestions. And go ahead and consider subscribing so you get notified of future uploads of nail hauls, reviews, things like that. I do have some discount codes for Maniology and Madam Glam and some links on the bottom where you can find more information for some great products. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye.